Recently I got a question in my comment section of one of my YouTube videos and this question was from Ben Meredith 7696 and he said hi there how could I knock out all black color from an artwork for DTF printing. I'm trying to figure out uh, how to use a black shirt to act as the black color in the image to save ink from my printer. There's loads of Photoshop tutorials for color knockout but not for Affinity Photo 2. Hope you can help. Thanks. Well, honestly, I'm not really home in the printing space, but after doing a little research, I managed to find three fast ways on how to uh, knock out black in Affinity Photo. You'll notice that I use many keyboard shortcuts in this tutorial. So if you want to improve your workflow in Affinity Photo, then download the free copy of my workflow booster cheat sheet, including all the most used keyboard shortcuts in Affinity Photo. Links down below. Now let's start off by technique number one and you want to make sure that if you have your image you want to make sure it's a pixel layer. So you want to, if it's an Im image layer you can right click <clears throat> and then you can click on rasterize. Now for the first technique we're gonna sample the black color. So what we want to do is go to select and then select sampled color right here. Click on it and you want to make sure to click on the black. Now we can zoom in a little bit and you can see that if I move this slider you can actually see that I can adjust my selection quite slightly. Um, you don't want to go too crazy with this because then you will select uh, colors outside of your um, outline let's say so let's go for something like 40 40 percent and let's hit apply now let's press command zero to zoom out and what we've done now is we have selected the blacks but obviously if i hit the mask icon right now you will see that we mask out everything except the blacks which is something we don't want so i'm gonna press command c to uh, undo that and we want to invert our layer, uh, sorry, we want to invert our selections. And there's two ways to do this. You can either go to select and then invert pixel selection, or you can press uh, shift command I, which is the keyboard shortcut, which I um, always prefer to do. So what I'm gonna do is press command shift I. Now I've got everything selected except the blacks. And once I hit the mask icon right now, you can see that I've masked out um, the outline let's say. I pressed command D, D to deselect and to make it more clear for you I've actually created this green background layer so you can see that we actually see through the black line so they are actually masked out. Now what I've learned doing my research is that you don't want to have any transparent pixels and as you can see if we zoom in you can see there's quite some transparent pixels so there's still quite some gray um, pixels so how to remove these you want to make sure to select your mask so select the layer mask then go to select and then go to alpha ranges and select partially transparent and once you've selected these simply press delete with your mask selected now press command d and zoom out and now we have actually knocked out all the partially transparent pixels as well as the black outline. So that was technique number one. Now let's go to technique number two. So I'm gonna press delete. Let's go to technique number two and this is using the flood select tool. So you can select the flood select tool by pressing W on the keyboard or right here in the tools bar, uh, in the toolbar. So with this tool selected, what you want to do is you want to set your tolerance to something like 25 or 30 or whatever works best and click on the black outline. And now you can see that we have selected the black uh, once again. Very important, you want to make sure you have uh, contiguous, contigu contiguous unchecked because that means that we select all of the black uh, or similar to black pixels um, in our full image. So if I would have contiguous um, checked let's say and I would select this one right now you can see that I wouldn't select the clouds because they are separated from this black outline so you want to make sure you have contiguous unchecked and then click and now you can see that you select everything all right now let's zoom in a little bit and let's actually um, invert our layer mask uh, sorry our selection once again so I'm gonna press command shift I and then I'm gonna hit the mask icon and press command D to deselect and let's zoom in and you can still see we've got some uh, transparent pixels so what we're gonna do is the same we go to select go to alpha range and then select partially transparent 
Now we've uh, selected all the transparent pixels. So now once I hit delete, you can see that we've actually knocked out all the blacks and the transparent, uh, the partially transparent pixels with technique number two. Now there's one more technique that I want to show you. So I'm going to hit delete. Um, so I'm going to hit delete, which is using blend options. Now the blend options, you can find it here in the layers panel. It's this little cogwheel. And once you click on it, it opens this, um, yeah, this dialog box, let's say. And you want to focus on the source layer because the source layer is the current layer that is selected. And what you want to do now is you want to knock out all the blacks. So on the left side, we've got the shadows and on the right side, we've got the highlights. And what you want to do is you basically want to drag the shadows down and you want to make sure that we've got another point straight above. So you want to create this vertical line, which means that we are, um, don't have any transparent pixels. Because if I do it like this, like a horizontal line, you can see that we create these transparent pixels. And if I go all the way vertical, you can see that we actually knock out transparent pixels straight away. So. I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to see more Affinity Photo content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one. Ciao.